Meet Jane T is tonight's video. My name is Jody Bunting and this is our free six week course where our slimmers are going to lose a stone in the next six weeks. Hi Jane. Hi. How you doing nice to tonight? Fine, thank you. Not eating snacks because oh, great, I'm great. <laughs> Now, the good news is, yesterday I got to meet your lovely daughter, Kate, didn't I? You did. And my grand two of my grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> they were climbing all over her. They were grabbing the phone. Is this how yeah. they are with you? Or do you, uh, can you control them a bit more? No, they've been today and they're exactly the same. <laughs> so that's, that's two of the five. I've, I've got five and I've got another one due in September. So oh, that'll be six. Oh, wow. Congratulations. <laughs> so activity-wise, this is good then. This is keeping you fit and active then, is it? Running around after them. Yes, yes. I, I, um, I don't know whether it's the right sort of exercise, but I am on the go a lot running about after them. But it's probably not cardio. But uh, as far as keeping your joints going, then yes, it is. <laughs> definitely some strength training i think squatting down and, and picking them up and reaching for things for them so that's the good thing yes you know, and i was actually trying to get theo to sleep this morning and i thought i'd do a few uh legs i was lifting my legs at the same time so i'm using him as a weight <laughs> do you do much babysitting for them or do you eat with them regularly or think anything uh yes i mean they all come every week at the weekend for a meal and i tend to see them in the week as well I see a lot more of kate at the moment because she's off on maternity leave so the reason yeah. i the, the reason i say that is kind of what i asked kate yesterday is does she she finish off the kids foods because that's always the issue when you've got little ones <laughs> is that you know nobody likes waste so what no. better thing to do than eat the kids waste <laughs> Well, we were very mindful at lunch, actually, because Olivia had left a ham sandwich and we were both looking at each other and we're going, we'll, we'll feed it to the ducks. <laughs> exactly. The ducks will help you out over the next six weeks. <laughs> Once we'd have snuffled that straight away. <laughs> So just to explain to everybody how I know your lovely self, uh, I've actually known you for years now, haven't I? You've been attending my yeah. dance fit classes in Church Broughton. You know what? It's probably something like five years, isn't it? Well, yeah, we've been here six. So, yeah, I think yeah. it must be about five minus two. Because, yeah, we, <laughs> we lost COVID two years. So probably three years we've been in, in constant yeah. connection. And the good news yeah. is I start back my dance fit outdoor classes next week as well, don't I? So yeah. not only will we have these catch ups on food, we'll also have our fitness catch ups back from next Thursday. So that's going to be really exciting. I can't wait for that. So we've had we have chatted a little bit about food, haven't we, before and after the class before. So yes. I am excited, yeah. though, to get you on the real programme and actually see some good results for you. Um, yes. And one of the, the biggest things is just to make sure that you're eating enough protein um, and also that you're having, obviously, fresh fruit and vegetables at every single meal as well, uh, which I'm sure you do anyway. Um, it's just obviously bringing that more into uh, play. Now, we're going to be using an app called My Fitness Pal. Were you able to download it? Yes, I've done that and I've uh, attached it to, or it's running alongside with my Fitbit as well. So. Oh, perfect. So You'll be able to see how much I don't do. <laughs> Well, the good news about attaching your Fitbit to my fitness pal is you also earn exercise calories. So, for instance, it will tell me at the bottom how many uh, extra calories you've earned through exercise. So that's the good thing. You don't necessarily have to eat those extra calories, but it's good <laughs> just to see how many extra yeah. calories you have burned. So especially yeah. on a Thursday night when you've been to my dance fit class, because I tell you guys, <laughs> I tell you guys, you're going to burn 750 calories tonight. So let's hope that does show up on my fitness pal. <laughs> Great. So have you counted calories before? 
Not for years, no. No, not, not for probably six years. I, I did it years ago when I actually wasn't probably really overweight, but um, everybody was doing it then, so you yeah. did. But no, I haven't, I haven't done it before. So the good thing about calories is the fact that obviously legally all products have to have the calories on so that's the the good part about it uh, the bad side is the fact that obviously you don't want to get too obsessed with calories and it should be more about the nutrients and all about the health point of view so it's kind of a little balance that we have to act between calories and health wise for instance um if you look at the government guidelines where they have the different colors on the the foods if you look at an avocado we all know that an avocado is full of healthy fats it's actually in the red because it's got quite a lot of fat in and it doesn't come to the fact that it's a good fat um, so this is where working with calories and what we know about health is a bit of a combination so hopefully i'll be able to guide you through and coach you through to to find some healthy low calorie things in the coming week so I mean, I, I cook from scratch. I don't. We don't have any ready meals or anything. So if you like tonight, I've done fish and I've put a drizzle of olive oil over it um, and some pesto. Do I have to count all that in separately? And yes, if you can. Um, most yeah. people, to be honest, have regular meals. Um, you know, they eat the yeah. similar sorts of foods. And once you've started to track your foods you'll see there that all your favorite foods are there. So it will get a lot quicker, right. uh, but initially you do need to try and add everything, especially things right. with calories in like oil and pesto, stuff like that. Um, but it's great what you've just said there that you do cook from scratch, which is perfect. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is where, again, you're going to find my fitness pole really helpful because just measuring out the quantities of oils and pesto mm. and those things that are quite high in calories are just going to make guarantee that you lose weight because you're not going to overdo those sorts of foods. Right, um, right. Now, obviously, if you are buying from farm shops or you're growing things, stuff like that, then you can search for foods. Uh, so if something hasn't got a label or hasn't got a barcode, then you don't necessarily need to find it that way. You can just search for it. Um, right. What are your downfalls when it comes to food? Is there any things that you can't stop yourself or, or you kind of have as a treat? Chocolate. It's just chocolate. So how was Easter for you? Did you have a good one? <laughs> <laughs> yes, had some chocolate. <laughs> I just, I think I, I look upon chocolate as a treat. Yeah. So if you're fed up, you reward yourself with chocolate. If you're happy, you have a piece of chocolate. And I'm not very good at... I mean, I've got a friend who can have a bar of chocolate and just have two squares and leave it in the fridge and have two squares the next day. If I've got it, I like to eat it. I'm not very good at thinking I'll just have a bit. Have I ever told you my Rosemary Connolly story? No. When I used to work for Rosemary Connolly, she, she sat us all down and says, look, ladies, gentlemen, I have one chocolate a year. And apparently she had, well, you know, one of the little Thorntons ones you get in a box. Yeah. She had one of those on a birthday every single year. <laughs> <laughs> could, could that be your chocolate ration, Jane? No. <laughs> it definitely couldn't be mine. So first of all, I'm not expecting you to do that. What is your favourite sort of chocolate? A Cadbury's. It's Cadbury's, great. Oh, my favourite is Cadbury's uh, caramel. What's your favourite Cadbury's or just dairy milk? It's just dairy milk because Cadbury's caramel is actually too sweet for me. I wouldn't, I don't eat that. It is the so, sweetest one. <laughs> and I don't like white chocolate, so I tend to keep white chocolate in for the children. Yeah, so white chocolate oh, also then... has more sugar in. So that's a right. good thing that you don't like white chocolate. Um, so we have an 80-20 rule. So 80% of the time, I want you to eat nutritious foods, but 20% of the time, I do want you to have some chocolate. Now, 20% right. of the time could be one day off a week, 
maybe you right. want to have a little bit of chocolate for instance on a Saturday or maybe you want to have plan in a couple of chocolate bars throughout the week or maybe you want right. to have a small bit of chocolate every day so right. if you just think about your lifestyle and kind of uh how you like to treat yourself it's completely up to you what works for you but I don't want you to put out the chocolate completely because that what that will do is then obviously turn into uh Easter too where you have lots of of chocolate and just throw in the plan so that's really important I definitely don't want you to give up don't do a Rosemary Connolly definitely keep your chocolate in here uh but again just really limit it but also kind of have a little plan in your mind when you're going to have it and therefore you're not going to think to yourself you know I can't have it ever again you can look forward to it um, and really Mm. enjoy it when you do have it as well so I think it's sometimes is it mindfully eating it because sometimes I eat it quickly and then you think I didn't I don't remember eating it yeah especially for instance when the kids are all having a little bar or something and everyone has it together it can just be gone in a second where if you've planned that 8 p.m on a Saturday night you're going to enjoy a nice bar you can sit down have a cup of tea and really slowly savor the flavor and you're exactly right Mm -hmm. just eating it mindfully is definitely the Mm -hmm. the way to go Um, And to do that, this is where planning comes in and obviously just planning when you're going to have it and what you're going to have as well. Right. Um, So all I want you to do then is to use the app, track like you've been doing. um, And then next week, what we will do is go through your food diary and I'll just make sure you're on the right direction uh, and I'll give you a few tips and stuff. Now, there is some calories already in MyFitnessPal, and this is worked out on your age, your height, your weight, your gender, so everything like that. So that is your personal calorie allowance. So if you can initially stick to that, that will be great. Um, And then depending on how your weight loss is, then we might need to change that in the future. But initially, if you want to stick to that, that's fine. If you feel like the the amount of food that you're eating now is drastically lower than what you're used to, then it's fine if you want to go over your calories a little bit. I don't want you to be like starving hungry, uh, but I do want you to try and obviously reduce maybe from what you were eating before. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Great. And activity wise, uh, what are you hoping to... Apart from dance fit on a Thursday night, is there any other little things you could do? I mean, I, I could go out for a walk more, but we've got a lot of garden, so we tend to garden or I'm busy in the house, busy with the children. But I don't know, is it the right sort of exercise? Do you have to do the cardio where your heart's beating and you're out of breath? or Not necessarily. Have you got a Fitbit or any sort of tracker that tracks your steps? Yes. I do. Perfect. And do you know how many steps you're on at the moment, roughly, averaging? Um, I mean, it's a lot. Some days I do well over ten thousand, but some days perhaps only six. So if you can try and level it out, then and try and get to ten thousand every day. Right. Um, so so that, that is that's not just a number plucked out of the of the air. That is a good amount to do, is it? Uh, well, apparently it is a number that was just plucked out of the air. <laughs> However, <laughs> it, you know, even the NHS used 10,000 steps now as a good guideline to get to. So it's sort right. of a number that kind of fit into the watch. But suddenly yeah. it is something, it's something that turns to, to actually be quite good. And purely because a lot of people are able to do it and they do lose weight on getting 10,000 steps as well. So initially we will do that and again I really personalize the plan to every single person we'll get you to 10,000 steps um, and if your weight loss is fine on that uh, then we won't change it but if we if it's not if you're not losing weight on that obviously we will change it and maybe change the sort of exercise you're doing as well but that's initially all I want you to do is just to try and get to 10,000 steps right yeah yeah did you see my April Fool's video last month or the start of this month no I didn't 
I sat there, Jade, and I wiggled my Fitbit for an hour, getting my 10,000 steps. I definitely don't want you to do that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's not how to do your 10,000 steps. <laughs> Great. Because the thing is, when you're gardening, you can be up and down, sort of bending and doing all of that, but you're not doing steps, are you? <laughs> but, you know, those squats and things and all those movements do count. So they are burning calories. So, yes, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. How's your sleep, Jane? Uh, well, fine now, because I've got sleep apnea. So I actually have to wear a CPAP machine. So I have to wear a mask all night. So with that, um, it's fine. With that, it's fine. Yes, Great. absolutely fine. And how's your digestion? Fine. Yeah, Excellent. no problems there. No problems with that. Great. Right. Eat medicines. Do you have, do you have any other questions? Uh, uh, no, I think that's it. It was well, just about. I wanted to know if it was more. It was if it was harder to lose weight after the menopause after you hit sixty, because this is where my weight's gone on, just around my waist. It just all of a sudden seemed to be there one day. It wasn't there the day before, and it was the day after. You know, so. Sure, it wasn't quite that quick, but right. So there's two points with that. First of all, with age, um, purely because uh, your metabolism starts to slow down and your muscle mass starts to get smaller, uh, this is where we need less calories as we get older. Um, so we've right. all heard the expression about middle age spread. Uh, actually, yes. middle age spread is because this is where your metabolism starts to slow down. So people, when they get into their 40s, 50s and 60s, keep, keep on eating the meals they were eating when they were 20 and 30. And this is where middle age spread comes from, because actually wow. they're doing the same thing, but their body is actually different to how it was. So this is unfortunately something we're working against and definitely buying a new set of crockery that with smaller plates will help. Yes. Yes. Um, but reducing your portion size and also you you mentioned there about menopause what's happening is after menopause and even during menopause um, is the fact that it's affecting all your hormones um, and the biggest thing to uh, assist with hormones is to get rid of sugar and add right. more protein right so it sounds like you the quality of your foods are actually quite good at the moment just bear yes. in mind that every time you do have some chocolate, it, it has obviously got sugar in and it will take your hormone levels up and down for a bit. So this is right. where for yourself in particular, I would probably recommend having, you know, just a couple of uh, uh, helpings of chocolate a week, because every time you are going to have some chocolate, it is going to disrupt your hormones and therefore it's going to throw everything out right right um, re regards to protein even when you're having snack snacks just try and make sure you ha are having uh protein with it for instance if you were to say i just i feel like a snack i'm going to have an apple yes that's quite good because obviously it's a fruit it's healthy but because it contains just carbohydrates it's going to lift your blood sugar and then they're going to come crashing back down and then you're going to want something else to eat so, right. for instance, if you had an apple with a couple of Brazil nuts, that has got the protein in there to keep your blood sugar normal and not, not disrupt your hormones. So right. this is how protein works. Um, and protein can be obviously meat, fish, chicken, um, but it can also be things like avocados, nuts, seeds, beans, pulses. You know, there's loads of proteins that on animal based as well so just getting into the routine and having them um just playing devil's advocate this would also apply to chocolate jane so <laughs> something like a whole nut bar <laughs> right. will have a little bit of protein in it okay <laughs> Ooh, nice. so, so when you are having a treat try to have a treat with protein in as well and it won't disrupt nice. your hormones and it won't disrupt your um sugar levels as well almost be good for me then well i'm not sure we can say that but 
<laughs> Certainly better than the one without the nuts in it, that's for right, sure. Right, Okay, thank you. Great. <laughs> Right. Well, thank you very much. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to see great process with yourself and Kate. So I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> well, so we've I'll got to. You. Now. We can't let each other down, you see. That's it. You've got each other to support, which is great. Yeah. So next week, I'll see you on the video next Tuesday, and then I'll see you in person as well next Thursday, which will be nice. That'll be lovely. Thank you very Fabulous. much. Right. I'll Bye. see you then, Jane. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.